Hartford. A blind military hero is running the ING Hartford Half Marathon this Saturday to benefit a Connecticut nonprofit that's brought new vision to his life. Yeah, what a story. And the date on which the Fidelco Guide Dog Foundation presented this Air Force veteran with his new companion is one he will not soon forget. Fox Connecticut's Tony Terzi joins us now with the story of blind faith. Tony. I had never had an opportunity to go to their Bloomfield campus near the Command Corporation. I was there for two hours and and so impressed and I have to apologize to our little pooch Grayson he may feel like I was cheating on him today because <laughs> they get that way they feel that way. <laughs> for sure it takes two years and 15,000 hands-on hours for Fidelco to prepare each pooch for placement and being able to trade in his cane for a canine has Michael Malarcy anxious to pay it forward Retired Air Force veteran Michael Malarcy blinded by an improvised explosive device on January 3rd, 2010 in Afghanistan, says the accident is the is. best thing that's ever happened to him. You know, I was just your typical young man. I was focused on me. I was focused on what I wanted and, and not really anything else. I was single at the time. You know, I didn't care about anything. That's it. Go. But he's entered the Hartford Half Marathon this weekend because he cares very much for the Fidelco Guide Dog Foundation, which trained and placed Exxon with him one year to the day after he lost his sight. And once I learned to trust this dog and learned how much he could help me, I mean, my, my independence and confidence just shot through the roof. It changed my life. It's interesting, though, that Malarcy, who lives with his wife and children in Texas, has chosen to run for charity. I don't like running. Let me say that. I really don't. I hate running with a passion. I don't love it at all. But I love finishing. That feeling is exhilarating. Currently, neither the Department of Defense nor the Veterans Administration provide funding to organizations like Fidelco to raise and train, guide, or service dogs for blinded or wounded veterans. But Fidelco and Malarcy have lobbied Washington hard, including then-Senator John Kerry. He introduced a bill on the floor of the Senate in 2012 entitled the Senior Airman Michael Malarcy Act to generate funds to support our military. And there is a new bill now before the House. It cost $45,000 to train one of these dogs. So wow. it's important, this advocacy this weekend, that over 70-plus uh, runners uh, on behalf of the Fidelco Guide Dog Foundation will be taking part in very important advocacy. Now, he's going to be running with another runner next to him? He'll have a guide. Or will and, he have a guide dog? And he will have a wrist uh, bracelet that will be attached to his guide, and his guide will be telling him left, right, watch the bump, watch the rut. Wow. So that's it's very interesting. But he will be wearing a T-shirt that says blind runner on it. So you'll be able to identify him from behind. Yeah, you and I both know about the, and Allison too, about the exhilaration of the last mile or half mile, whatever you do, to finish a race, you know, you it just goes through your whole system. Well, and, my exhilaration is only because I know I get to eat afterwards, so oh. that's, yeah. <laughs> well, it's the point, right? <laughs> Thanks, Tony. You bet.